Well, folks, something really interesting today. So I am back and I was contacted by a, a knife maker, a company. For all I know, it was the guy. For all I know, it was his marketing team. I don't know. But David Chen designs, knife maker, knife designer, head of company, whoever, wanted to know if I would be interested in checking out uh, something from the Weepy. I hope I'm pronouncing that night right. I'm going to take it out of this thing because it came to me and it was in one, it was in a thing, in a bubble, it, it was in a mailer, it was in a bigger bubble wrap that had the little cloth in it around the box. I didn't know what it was. It didn't have any markings on the main package, so I opened it up and then saw that it was this. Um, so anyway, uh, Weepy or Weipe or Weep, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, to say the truth. Um, but David Chen um, is a name that's been associated with uh, some some knife designs, good designs. Um, I, I went and did a little background looking. Um, the oldest, the oldest unboxing or review of of a, a weepy knife that I could have seen that I saw was less than a year old, so fairly new company. Um, and you know, a, a, he sent me a link to to the website, and a lot of the images on there are still kind of like CAD computer type images because a lot of the the models are still in production. And they there's so there's a link in the video description to go check out the website because you know he did send me a free knife to look at so it's only right that I give you um, a link to go check out the stuff they have um, some higher end ones with higher end materials they look awesome on the pictures and I will get a chance hopefully to see one of those and review them with you guys as well as they're ready one of the ones I'm really interested in seeing is the model 707 looks really cool but here we have the 737 and I think this is this is called the camping friend take a look at the packaging um, you know what now say what you will about where where it is made I love the fact that they're not trying to hide it that they're uh, they have some pride in where it comes from a lot of companies will try to put it in little small you know try to sneak it by you in little small letters or just put PRC somewhere on it trying to you know hope that you don't notice they're being upfront about it so I respect that you know um, <clears throat> at least they're not trying to slip it on by okay so, so it comes with the cloth and it comes with the knife it's bigger than I thought it is a bigger it is a you know when you look at the pictures um, it is a bigger knife than I thought Let's take a look. So first of all, nice texture on the G10. Actually, I gotta say, the fit and finish on it is pretty good. Nice machining there. Everything, oh, and a G10 backspacer with some pretty decent jimping. Yeah, fit and finish is really nice. Well countersunk pivots. They're like totally flush with the G10 there. And uh, so deep carry clip, which I love, um, but it is uh, it is it is right hand only. Tip up. I mean, which works for me, but I understand uh, no soup for many of you. Uh, it does have a matching frame screw on this side, which is a little hard to see because it's under the clip, which is interesting because a lot of times when they have the clip there, they'll incorporate the clip uh, the clip screw as the, that other side frame screw, but they didn't do that. They went with and just putting the clip right on top of it. Okay. So obviously we've got a flipper design. Uh, we'll see, we've got skeletonization inside the liners. Um, when we open it, <clears throat> it does have, like I said, a little bit of weight to it. Not bad though. Perfectly centered. And if you look at the the maximum width here on the blade stock, pretty significant 
width of blade stock compared to the, the actual length of the knife. So we should have a pretty hardy piece of steel there. Very nice action. Liner lock, fairly early lock up. We do have some skeletonization there in the liners to help lighten it up. Can imagine uh, how much weight it would have without that. bearings. Great action, nice detent. Would like a little bit more access to the lock. And one other thing is that you've got, you've got a real hard edge right there um, on the thumb ramp. But you know what, that can be taken care of real easy with just like a little like a 320 grit sandpaper or even a even a 400 just a little rub down right there to smooth it over a little bit would also give you a little bit easier access to the lock but you can definitely feel that edge right there might be something that they could take care of in future production badges i mean not too hard to take care of yourself though but you are able to get that access to the to the lock okay um, and it's not hard or sticky or anything to unlock push button yeah it works but it's definitely a light switch flipper. Let's clean off some of the oils on here that it comes with because it is D2. Um, so of course, you know, they're gonna send it with a protective oil coating for its travels. All right, so we've got some very pretty grind lines on what is essentially a full flat ground blade. Of course, it's got some stylized um, I'll call it a reverse swedge, I guess. Um, but like I said, you know, you look at the thickest part of the blade, we we were are dealing with what is a, a pretty thick piece of blade stock that they did take some grinding out of, um, which probably was a good idea to help lighten up what is a little bit of a weighty knife. Um, but in the spine area there, you do have a lot of steel to back up that edge. And, you know, we've talked about before how, how having the thicker steel coming up through the spine of the knife really does play a role in uh, edge deformation and stuff like that and preventing that and stuff. So that's that's nice to see. Um, in terms of comfort, it's a simple shape, but it is pretty comfortable. That clip shape with the, the widened spoon over there shape is pretty good. I really don't feel it in my hand very much. Did we do you check retention on it? We didn't. That is pretty tight. Yeah, that's a tight clip. That's going to need to wear in a little bit. Um, I mean, it it's pretty tight, and you've got some medium texture G10 there. Um, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to like that's not too bad um at least you know it's not going anywhere but you know you'd want to wear that clip in a little bit that's not too bad it's not as bad as i thought um i guess let's see one more time yeah it's not too bad and It'll hold, all right. I thought it was a little bit tighter than I thought, was worrying about some pocket ripping, shredding, wearing type action, but that's not too bad. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That is finished nice. And you could EDC this. I know it might be a little bit big for some people for their standard EDC, but I like it. Um, I'd like the jimping to extend a little bit further down the spine, but at least it's there. But your fingers do really grab onto that textured G10, so you get a pretty good hold. Especially with the clip just resting just nicely in the palm of your hand there. Um, you've got the jimping where your thumb goes. That's a really good grip. I don't feel like it's going anywhere, and you know, they call it camping friend. So if you were to bring it camping or for a little hike or whatever, um, you get a really good grip and 
At least these edges are chamfered pretty well, so I don't anticipate any hot spots working uh, or doing stuff. Like I said, you got your full flat ground blade. Um, so, you know, very good for slicing and, and general utility tasks. Let's see. I think we're almost at the end of this tentacle of the octopus here, but that was like nothing. A very clean cut and that was also like nothing and pew 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 yeah wow very well finished right out of the box very nice done fine point tip there sorry that just those words just dragged out of my mouth i did not mean for them to be so anyway um not much of a choke up ability but you can get some pretty good fine point control if you needed to. Overall, I think it's a better knife than I was expecting. I was a little disappointed that I couldn't check out the 707 right away, but this is better than I was expecting. This actually has pretty slick action. Um, I like the blade grind a lot better than I thought I was going to and it is a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. It's also, like I said, a lot bigger. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting a smaller knife and I'm very happy with the size, so. Not bad, not bad. Let's check out the cloth. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice. That is a nice cloth. It actually is softer than the one that Kaiser includes. Not bad, pretty nice, I like it. So first look, for me anyway, at Weepy. Not the first David Chen design I've seen out in the world, uh, but first one I've had in my hand, I think. And I like it. I would definitely be interested in uh, looking at some more. So I, I really, if you look at the website, you'll see some what look like pretty cool designs. And I'm looking forward to getting some of the other ones in my hand. Uh, you guys let me know if there's if there's one on there that kind of strikes your fancy and you'd like to see us review, because I definitely want to see that 737. Sorry, the 707. This is the 737. Definitely want to see it in real life. Yeah. Uh, this I would I would absolutely carry. Seems like the kind of knife I would like, so. Let me know your thoughts, guys, and if anybody else has experience with the uh, the weepy, the weepe, the weep. Tell me about your weep. Let me know. What do you think? So, thanks again to uh, to weepe, weepy. Please, somebody tell me how to pronounce this correctly. Um, I appreciate it. I like it. I'd like to see more. And for all of you guys, my ladies, gentlemen, and llamas, remember that you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.